assigned and was uh, telling that there is this project that they are planning to do and uh, they are looking for someone who would lead this project and I was quite interested so at the end I went and had a chat with him uh, later he invited me for a coffee and then I'm here I'm Vidushan Vijayaratnam. Uh, I'm currently leading uh, the coding accelerator program uh, in Jaffna, Sri Lanka called Uki. Mm. So why we started this program? Um, we uh, saw a gap uh, between the students who complete uh, their advanced levels and the number of people who get into state universities. It is very limited. And then, uh, especially in the northern uh, province, uh, not many people could afford a private education. So we were able to see uh, lots of talented, passionate kids uh, not being able to follow a tertiary education. And in Sri Lanka, without uh, a tertiary education, it would be difficult for them uh, to get into uh, a good uh, job uh, or to follow their passion, especially in the IT field. <coughs> And, and we saw a lot of kids who, who are uh, genuinely passionate uh, in IT. Hence, uh, we created this uh, program, uh, Uki. For six months, uh, we select uh, the students uh, who, who are in need uh, of uh, this program. And then uh, we train them uh, on full stack web development along with uh, English communication skills basic business skills and we uh, coach them personally so that at the end of the sixth month they are ready uh, to get into an industry and, uh, and join and work as an intern or, or as a trainee. So this has proven uh, to be an effective pathway uh, for those uh, who, who really wanted to uh, get into the tech industry or wanted to have a startup but then they didn't know how to begin with or how actually to approach this. <coughs> so we've uh, completed uh, three batches um, so altogether we have 13 students from each batch which adds up to uh, 39 students together uh, and uh, so we've uh, sent out CVs uh, to the companies who have partnered up with us for the third batch but from the first two batches uh, each and every student who were available for an internship got an internship so which is 100 percent uh, success I would say and uh, there were also interesting cases of after going through this program some of their family members or, or like relatives and friends uh, uh, saw the kids potential and then they came forward to sponsor for their higher education and a few other kids were also got interested in uh, startups and uh, it was so new to them. Uh, the hackathons uh, that's been organized by Yal ID Hub, the YGC, they've also take, took part in Hack Day organized by the UNDP uh, and uh, the VFL, the Venture Frontier Lanka program. And we had uh, one student who got into the South Asia Connect program, which happened in, in New Delhi. And then from the third batch, uh, um, again, on the second batch again, there's another student who is uh, to go uh, next month. Uh, so they, they got into the startup, they, they are thinking different, <clears throat> they want to build uh, tech uh, companies and also they are getting great exposure both in Colombo and Jaffna. So it was uh, quite a random incident, um, so I was visiting my aunt who lives in Jaffna from Colombo and that weekend uh, I got to know that there is this Yal ID Hub meetup going on. And I was quite excited, so I just uh, popped in and at the end of the meetup, uh, Simon was uh, telling that there is this project that they're planning to do and uh, they're looking for someone who would lead this project and I was quite interested. So at the end, I went and had a chat with him. Uh, later, he invited me for a coffee and then I'm here. So we had uh, British Council joining us initially. Uh, and they are supporting us uh, on uh, delivering English curriculum for our students. 
as an educational partner then we have corporate partners uh, such as WSO2, 99X Technologies, uh, Kelsey Technologies, Senid Mobile, Tech Orin and a uh, few other both small and medium sized companies and how they support us is uh, they uh, provide their engineers to come and deliver half or one day workshops on a related topic to our students so that helps our students get an industry exposure and learn from the people who are at, at the lead on that particular topic uh, further at the end of the program these companies have also promised to interview our students so we asked them it's up to you guys to take our students but uh, what you promise us is at least to interview our students so our students get an opportunity to get interviewed but uh, the history says that they go to interview and then they get into the company I have a tech background uh, and, and, and of course I loved uh, technology but um, after joining Uki I have uh, improved or maybe like learned a lot uh, with regard to people like uh, and then I have also understood that um, even though we work with computers at the end it is uh, people who are going to use the computers and then it is people who are our end customers so understanding people and, and, and what is important to them is much more important than understanding the machines so that has been uh, my own personal experience and uh, I have personally grown a lot and it is very rewarding to, to provide an impact and was able to see that impact having this ripple effect uh, in the society uh, that is uh, like uh, something that uh, cannot be described in words yeah <laughs> we've uh, for uki we plan to uh, have uh, two more schools in kalinachi and bavunia and we are actively uh, seeking uh, to start it as soon as possible uh, initially we would uh, like to hire suitable people will be training at our center in chafna and then we'll be moving out uh, for kalinachi and bavunia and the archi as, as one part of the Archie. Archie is a project to kind of provide a digital uh, uh, platform for learning and as is one part of it we are also involved in creating a uh, MOOC of Uki so that uh, the students who were not able to get into our physical uh, program uh, could benefit uh, online. So the entire tech curriculum of Uki uh, is already been uh, ported uh, and we will be releasing that uh, as, as part of our key so that if anyone who are interested uh, uh, to, to learn uh, the Uki curriculum will be able to learn it online. Uh, but then if they want more such as like their personal development and, and you know like uh, the rest of the stuff uh, then uh, they'll be able to join Uki in the physical location yeah.